Hey, JB here. Have you been thinking about getting your first PCP rifle, your high pressure air rifle? Or maybe you've had survival on your mind due to the civil unrest. Well, I have here for you the Umarex Origin 22 caliber, all new for 2020, and this is the unboxing video. Okay, so let's unbox the Umarex Origin 22. First, let's take a look at the box. When you, when you see it in stores and you pick it up, you're going to notice a little bit of heft, uh, maybe 12 pounds or so. Um, that, that's not all the rifle because inside you'll see that there's a hand pump included. Um, that's a $140 value uh, and it's a three-stage hand pump. Uh, so that's inside the box with the Umarex Origin and the MSRP or retail price is expected to be $349.99. So that's with the pump. So on the front here, we have three tabs, I believe. Three tabs to hold it together, which is good. Flip it open, and it's nice packaging. So you've got, now I've taken the plastic off, so I don't have to mess with that to show you. But you'll see here uh, this paperboard um, packaging. It's really good packaging for, for an air rifle. It protects both the muzzle end and the back end and all the components. So we'll take the rifle out first because that's obviously what everybody's interested in. So there's your Umarex Origin N22. Now that is uh, fairly lightweight, it's about six and a half pounds. Uh, you'll see a composite stock and stippling here on the forend. Uh, this, is, uh, this is your uh, air cylinder, uh, your um, shroud that covers the barrel uh, is up here. And you'll see it has a barrel band to keep things nice and steady and flush. Uh, and you've got a, a rail up here, uh, looks, it's a Picatinny or uh, 11 millimeter. Uh, so you've got, um, let's see what there, nice stippling back here on the grip. Uh, you've got a raised, a little bit of a raised cheek piece and a rubber butt pad. Let me flip it over and nice lever action uh, PCP rifle. And then you've got your manometer, uh, your pressure gauge there, so you can see how much pressure you're building in your air rifle as you pump it. So that's uh, uh, the Umarex origin. Let's see, oh, I just felt something. Ah, there's a, a piece of rubber here, and so you can see it's actually done pretty nicely. It even has the texturing that spills over from the forend here onto the uh, rubber. But, uh, so it has a tab here, and we lift that up. And, Ah, all the way up. So you'll see here, uh, you've got four holes. This back one here is a stock mounting screw. Uh, this one here is a burst disc. This is your actually your fill port right here. And um, this one is a degassing screw. So if you needed to get the air out of the rifle so that you could uh, transport it safely, uh, that's what your degassing screw there is for. So i probably want to keep that little rubber cover and get it right in that hole there in place um, while you use the rifle just to keep dust and debris out of your out of the different ports there. Oh, and then you've got the adjustable trigger here. And if I remember seeing on the back of the box, uh, it was about a two and a half to three and a half pound trigger. So, uh, oh, and a manual safety right there, which is a, a good feature to have. Okay, did I miss anything? Let's look. Oh, on the front it says not a fill port. Uh, so despite there being a hole, you don't want to put your fill probe in there. That's not where it goes. It goes underneath that flap. Okay. All right. So there is the Umarex Origin 22 rifle. Let's see what else is in the package. The two rotary magazines. So this is this magazine is like the gauntlet magazine. You rotate the faceplate all the way one way and load your pellets in as you as the uh, plate rotates back the other way. And then it inserts, there's a flat edge on it that uh, inserts into the rifle. So I get that open real quick. And there we go. So there's that. Again, you just rotate it all the way. Insert a pellet. Oh, fumbling around. Let's drop those. You'd insert a pellet there, hold your finger underneath so that the pellet doesn't fall the way through, and then it freely rotates to the chamber, chamber to chamber to chamber until you have it all the way loaded, and then it slides into the rifle, just like that. 
Okay, so we have two mag two magazines that come with it. Uh, silicone packet. Nothing under that tray. Nothing under that tray. And we have a box here. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, your manual or literature packet. Looks like there's a few different pieces in there. So you'll want to digest everything in there. And then this plate uh, is the, uh, the hand pump base plate. Let's set the box out of the way. Okay. Again, the base plate for the hand pump. Now let's look in this box. Piece of tape inside. Lift it up here for you. So we have other. Uh, let's see. Let's just see what's inside that. Okay, this is your hose for your hand pump. Uh, this end threads into the pump itself, or the base of the pump itself. And then this end, this is your Foster Disc Quick Connect setting and the fill probe that goes into the rifle. And again, so that's going to fit right in there in, into that, underneath this rubber plate into that middle fill port. So I'm gonna leave that in there so that I don't lose it. So that's your fill holes. Uh, you've got a handle for the hand pump, the hand pump itself. Uh, so this is your three-stage hand pump. Has your uh, manometer there so you can see how much pressure is being built up. Your bleed, uh, that block's going to attach to the base plate. And then what else is in this little box here? Looks like we have a couple of tools. We have a wrench uh, I, for assembly, and this one I believe is your um, piston wrench. So if you had to uh, take the uh, hand pump apart to replace a seal or something, that's what that would be used for. And then one last thing in the box, I have a little bag, uh, a rebuild kit, uh, if you will, it has some O-rings and some screws. So again, if if the hand pump uh, was to not pressurize properly, you could uh, easily uh, remove that and and figure out how to, by the manual, you could figure out how to rebuild your hand pump so that it continues to work. So that's, a, that's what's in the hand pump. Or, and let's look at the manual. So I believe it's going to be very uh, good, a good resource for you uh, to know how to do some of these things. So you have some color. Shows what all the ports are on the bottom of the rifle. Uh, right here on the uh, illustration page and it labels all the parts very well for you. There's all your, oh, here's, here's what I was wanting to see. So this is assembly and maintenance of the hand pump. Uh, so you will see, uh, it, it shows you how to assemble it. Uh, looks fairly easy. Uh, a few screws, an Allen wrench, which is all included here. And then, then here's your maintenance, uh, your maintenance part. So if something wasn't working right, it shows you by illustration how to take it apart where the O-rings go and you can and reassemble it fairly easily. So and here's your complete diagram of, of the whole hand pump. So pretty good resource, shows you how to uh, load the manual or excuse me, the magazine and how to adjust the trigger. So yeah, don't forget to uh, digest that owner's manual and you know, heed all the warnings and cautions in there too. And of course, wear your iPro whenever you are working on something and assembling something, especially a high pressure air rifle. So that's your Umarex Origin 22 unboxing. You can find it at retail for $349.99, includes that hand pump.